Saugus likes the 805, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Saugus Centurions <laughs> trying to beat their third straight team from the 805 to start the year. They routed Santa Barbara. Ed's Camarillo last week. Now they were at Buena. It's the weather. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. Well, Friday Football Focus reporter Trevor Saffel was at the game, and he joins us live from our patio. Hi, Trevor. Hey, Senator. Hey, well, a furious rally for Buena came up just short last week in a loss to Sierra Canyon. Tonight, the Bulldogs have to try and contain Saugus quarterback Nathan Eldridge. Out come the Bulldogs with arguably the best-looking uniforms in the entire area. We pick this one up with Buena already up 6-0 on 3rd and 14th. Grayson Roca showing up and showing off with the spectacular grab. A few plays later, Roca finishes what he started on the pass from Brian Yanez. Buena up 13-0. Sagas with the ball now. Quinn Schaefer takes the shovel pass, but here comes Chris Frazier, who lays the big hit, knocks the ball loose, and Isaiah McDougald recovers it. Bulldogs, however, could not capitalize. Centurion's back with the ball, and check out this pass from Nathan Eldridge. Drops it in between four Buena defenders to connect with Daniel Gilmartin. Sagas on the board. It's 13-7 at halftime. Fast forward midway through the third, and Eldridge hits Bajorquez on the wide receiver screen. He's got the first down, and he's got the touchdown. 45 yards for the score. Centurions take the 14-13 lead. Later in the third, it's Schaefer running with the ball again, but he's about to get hunted down by the big man, Xavier Jimenez. Hello, nice to meet you, sir. Sagas would add a field goal to pad the lead, and they move to 3-0 with the 17-13 win over Buena, who falls to 1-2. Well, that's back-to-back -back games now for Buena knocking on the door. They're hanging in every game. I'm sure the winds will start to fall. They're at home next week to Benita. Live in Santa Barbara for Friday Football Focus, Trevor Saffel, back to you, Center A. All right, thank you, Trevor. Well, the Ventura Cougars are off to a fast start behind running back of Brock Mortensen, and the defense has yet to surrender 20 points in a game. The Cougars playing at Rio Mesa tonight. Let's see if the Spartan speed could give Ventura any trouble. We'll pick it up in the third, and Ventura is up 21-7 to and looking to score again. Brock Mortensen knifes his way up the middle for a big gain. A couple plays later, Jack Gutierrez tosses it to Rico Stubbs in the flat, who's... Tricky. Gonna send this one deep to Brandon Gooding, wide open into the end zone with the extra point. It's now 28 to 7 in favor of Ventura. Now the Cougars keep rolling into the fourth quarter. Gutierrez launches a pass deep down the field, but he puts too much on it. Miles Flores comes up with the interception and gets a few yards back on the return. Rio Mesa with the ball now. Quarterback Robert Gayona lofts the ball to the sideline. And Jared Rogers makes a great leaping grab for the first down, and it's Gayona dropping back again. He finds Jacob uh, Carbajal for the middle. He up the middle. He pulls off a spin mood and gets a couple of extra yards right there. Rio Mesa is just a few yards from Pater, but Gayona's mm. pass is intercepted in the end zone. Now safety Ian McKenzie reads the quarterback perfectly, gets a nice chunk of yards right there. Ventura would chew up a plenty of time on the ensuing drive and finish it off with this bruising run for from Gardner, 35 to 7 Ventura, with just a few minutes remaining. Real Mesa with the ball now. That'd be Guyona finding Dominic McLaughlin for a nice game. Now a few plays later, it's Guyona dropping it off to Rush in the flat. Now he makes one defender miss, shakes off another, and is gone into the end zone for a Spartan touchdown. It'd be a little too late, however. Ventura would win this one with the final 35 to 21 next week. It's Ventura's turn to play Sagas. That is a row game. Real Mesa is at Olympian, and that is in Chula Vista. That's a long, long road, road trip. trip. Certainly is. Last but certainly not least, we turn our attention to the eight man game, the Laguna Blanca House putting out the welcome mat for the Coast Union Broncos. This game played in the sunshine of Santa Barbara's Hope Ranch. Laguna special teams big early. They return the opening kick for a TD, then they immediately force a fumble. Freshman Maricon pounces on it, giving the offense a short field to work with. Yow's back in the end zone just a few plays later. Javi Abrego takes a direct snap. He goes up the gut for six. Al getting the two-point conversion as well, Alex. Furukawa catches the conversion. It's 14-0 Laguna. Al's playing the tough defense as well. Kelvin Chin in on the tackle of the quarterback. Laguna forces the punt. And where is number seven, Avi Abrego? There he is, heading down touchdown alley. And this game is getting away from Coast Union very quickly. Al's 
for two again, and it's Aiden O'Donnell rolling right in the end zone. His older brother was Pierce O'Donnell, great athlete, student body president. He's at Harvard right now. Back to this game, and this is one outstanding run. Wells Fowler reversing his field. He has big yardage. Boy, is he tough to bring down in the open field. The Broncos finally do get him down, but two plays later, the Owls score another touchdown. O'Donnell to Alex Furukawa. And yeah, the highlights do not lie. All Laguna Blanca, 58 nothing Laguna. Off next week, Coach Junior host Kate of Carpinteria. So don't always get to see the eight-man ball, but they always ring up the scoreboard. Yeah, Laguna Blanca always has a fantastic squad. Yep. I love watching their highlights. All right, well, let's check out some of the other games that are not on your ticker tonight. We got Morro Bay. They're 3-0 now wow. for beating Kern Valley. Highland takes care of Thousand Oaks. We had Calabasas. Remember, they host Pacifica mm, yeah, next, next week. week. That's, That's going to be, be a good, a good game. 51-14, they win. Agora, well, they've been in three tough games. or 0-3, unfortunately, for the Chargers. Moore Park bounces back from that overtime loss to Pacifica. You know, they I win. I thought that was going to be a closer game. See me at Moore Park? Yeah, Moore Park. They got a good team. They got a transfer quarterback from Chatsworth. Yeah. Royal now 0-3. They lose to Burroughs Indians. We'll be right back.